Hello and welcome back guys to another episode in World of Tanks. I hope you've been doing well. One thing I'll try to do today is play a bit more as artillery as I was talking a lot about artillery being one of my most favorite um, classes in the game and I believe I haven't been playing with it to the level so I'm not even sure if you get the um, gist of what artillery really is. So I'll try to play at least few battles with artillery and maybe if I'll need to wait in between the battles for for the tank to be available again I'll grab a tank destroyer which is probably my second favorite class in the game this map I, I think I've been talking about it uh, a few episodes back that it should be really good fun for artillery because the because um, the both sides where the team start being on a high ground So this map, I guess, one very important thing is to rely on your teammates who need to be the spotters for you. I'm not sure if I chose the uh, good spot as there's a building literally covering my whole view. So I might try to get slightly down here so I can at least see the map a bit more while I'm doing it obviously takes me a bit of time and there's quite a few enemy tanks spotted already so I'll see if I can get some clear shots this guy as soon as he stops he should be a very good target for me although he's quite sneaky one he probably knows all the artillery and he missed missed me in a way so I've got a hit on him another shot there's a few tanks there which is good for me so my artillery is going to be focused on a shot which can mean that i get some good damage missed this guy unfortunately however it's not really far he managed to uh get from there however the shot is obstructed and oh uh, not a good thing been spotted by an enemy and some damage been given luckily wasn't a heavy tank because they would destroy me in literally a shot so i'll see if i can uh, snipe someone else in the meantime and this guy is probably quite experienced and knows to stay really near the buildings as they can sort of give you a bit of cover Oh, very good shot on my behalf. Managed to get it, get some decent damage on him. But he's gonna literally destroy me, and this guy didn't help whatsoever. So I had the shot which flied in more or less the right direction. I guess I'd destroy him. However, I guess it hit my teammate. Luckily, you don't really do uh, damage to your own team, which was a good thing in this. Uh, instance otherwise i'm pretty sure i would have destroyed him so probably not the most successful battle let's see if we can get any updates on upgrades on the on the tank destroyer what's the experience we have on it it's 2.4 thousand and what's it's 3.3 to get the new tank so i guess rather than getting the upgrades I'll take it f into a few battles and try to get the um, missing experience to get next get straight onto the next level tank and then I'll guess uh, I'll become more tactical and start paying f to train my soldiers in order to um, gain the maximum benefit of the skills you can research on on your crew members as these I I reckon will become quite important once you get to uh high levels seven eight nine and ten whereas on on the lower level tanks it's probably not not that important as you really use uh, every tank just a uh, few battles out there and then you just change to next low tank whereas on higher levels i'm assuming you'll be stuck with the same tank for a while so this map is um 
it's quite a good one. I personally like it, although it's probably not the best thing for artillery as there's very, very large number of um, hills and that sort of thing, which kind of covers the enemy. So you need to be careful with choosing your position where to snipe from to be sure that you get the most of the coverage although I completely forgot that I'm not playing as a um, artillery I'm a tank destroyer this time so this map is quite good for tank destroyers and um, I'm pretty sure I'll get to use it so I think this spot would be quite good as there will be some tanks appearing from there once our light tanks go there and discover the enemy Oh, that's not a good thing, keep in mind there's three enemy artillery, so I'll make a move back. And you've seen the artillery shots straight away, so let's make a move and <laughs> reallocate before we got destroyed. I'm wondering why my team didn't go this way, and um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a few enemies there. So I'll just keep on uh, going this way. Bloody hell, the artillery shooting all over us. So I need to keep on moving to make it as difficult as possible for, for the enemy to hit himself. I'm pretty sure the the blast that you had just now was another artillery. Oh my god, that was an easy kill. So I was hoping to get a shot and then just go back. However, it didn't really happen. So it seems that uh, this, uh, this time I'm not doing particularly well as well so let's have a quick look into the ops um what uh, what was the one we managed to achieve none of them really happened there so i wonder why the red ribbon was there i'll take the artillery out for another spin and uh, hopefully this battle is going to be a bit more successful as you can see on the lower levels there's really really loads of artillery there and um as you move on you see less and less of artillery and more and more heavy tanks because th they become quite a dominant force in the battle with them being quite difficult to destroy as well as the damage they deal not sure if i ever played in this battle and it could be something new so this map uh, can't really be caught in my in my head so we'll see what is it and i guess starting in top right corner is kind of advantage position when you're playing as artillery and i guess out of the two the position where i'm located now is the better one because i think this is slightly higher ground than the s spot my um my enemy has there's two artilleries in each team so i'll try to kind of be a bit sneaky and hide just there somewhere the very border of the map and uh, I'll hope that no light enemy tanks will get around here very quick. And at the same time, I should hopefully have a good clear shot on, on the enemy. So I guess um, the strategy of this guy is um, pretty similar to mine. Just um, stay, stay low, be quiet, and uh, just try to get to as much damage as you really can. Let's see how far can my artillery reach well not really great it's only um half a map roughly i'd say so i might need to consider moving nearer in the be beginning to make sure i can reach as many enemies as i physically can see so there's one guy over there and two so let's hope i'm far enough and i can get a clear shot and that's the case so he stopped and I missed unfortunately so need my artillery to recharge a bit quicker I hope this one gets him, yes completely destroyed him in the first shot which was really good so let's see if I can hit this guy as well I would have got some damage if he wouldn't move so it would be a literally direct hit at his position and I missed him again so doesn't look 
like a particularly particularly good skill for me here so my tank isn't really being a good shot I guess the enemy is just there at least by the looks of the bullets flying out of there however without really seeing him it's quite difficult to say if he's still there I guess not as this looks like the heavy tank I was aiming for earlier on so I'll, although this is a medium by the looks of it so I'll wait for him to stop a bit to make my shot otherwise my artillery can't really lock the target and even with um, him stopping I still missed him which is quite um, quite a shame and that's the worst thing when when your artillery keeps on spinning you can't really focus it properly so your your aim or the potential radius of your hit just gets bigger and bigger and bigger so let's hope for this shot to hit him and unfortunately not I'm hoping for my artillery to recharge quick enough and him not moving too far and he got think out of the range which it is the case let's see if this guy can be an easy target and yeah as I was saying the early artillery isn't really that good at firing at long distance so you need to kind of be mobile but at the same time um, trying to keep an eye on where the enemies are so you are not become an easy target let's see if this is far enough no I still can't hit uh, enemy base is a shame so I, I see quite a few tanks around there however I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to hit either of them so there's only three enemy left and I better start moving quick if I want to get any more damage yeah you might guys think that why the hell would I enjoy playing as artillery if it's such a painful procedure well I'll, I'll have to say that it's only painful early days so once you get your artillery really researched well, you have all the perks and uh, your crew is well trained, it's very very good fun. So you you can shoot literally the whole map from just standing at your base. And the damage as you've seen here is really good, so quite often you just need one hit on the enemy and they're down. So even here with one one shot I managed to destroy a tank and get 120 damage which is really good let's see if uh, the next battle is going to be any more success than the one before oh I think I accidentally clicked the wrong button however let's have a look if there's enough XP for me no still need more way more so I guess I'll dive straight into the battle and try to try to get um, some more XP to hopefully be able to research the new artillery today so this could be quite a good one for artillery hopefully the battle loads quick enough and we don't have to wait this map however is not going to be the um, the easiest to play as a artillery as the whole uh, right oh uh, no sorry left hand side of the map is some sort of uh, houses I assume so it's very easy for enemy to hide there and take cover so artillery kind of becomes not not the easiest to play on this map however I'm not trying to find excuses guys I'll try my to do my best to um, actually manage to do some decent damage and help my team to um, be victorious the first thing I guess I'll do is check how far can my artillery shoot so I know if I need to move slightly forwards or stay here I can more or less get the shot up to their base so I'd say there's no real reason for me to move any nearer so I'll just probably move slightly sideways here not to be covered by the building and unfortunately I'm not getting a real clear shot on him there 
So if he moves slightly forwards, a bit more, please, a bit more. So here I could easily get a shot on him. However, I assume he's going to appear somewhere here. Although I might be wrong and he uh, made a move somewhere else already. No, there he is, as I was saying. So let's see if I can get a shot on him. It would be a very, very good shot. However, he did move. And um, I'll let him move slightly nearer. And I'll give it another shot. And let's see if this one hits, hits the target. And spot on, destroyed him in one shot. And that's exactly the reason, guys, why I absolutely love playing this artillery. If you're really, really in the killing spree you can be just the destroying machine so every shot is a kill if you're lucky so let's see if i can get any decent damage here now i even couldn't get a basic hit let's be honest so let's see if, if he stays there for long enough he was destroyed however my shot was awful so in either of the cases i wouldn't get any any damage this is a perfect example of why i love playing his artillery one shot one kill i see artillery the only enemy artillery which can be quite lethal as you've seen from my experience so i'll try to destroy the guy straight away i guess he's going to be an easy target for my team without me so didn't really manage to get any damage there this guy is probably going to be done in a second as well without my help however i managed to get the final damage on him myself this guy is probably making move for a base however it wasn't a real success and we were absolutely victorious and this was probably the best example of how to be a artillery player so the damage you get is absolutely decent. I'm not sure if I've ever got um, this badge before. So that's something new for me as well. Let's get back into the garage and see if there's enough XP. I currently have to upgrade the tank. Quickly have a look here. Nothing happened really on this front. And then I believe I needed a bit more than that. Oh no, it should be enough. So. I'll use some of my free experience and yes I can finally purchase the new tank for only 23 K which is um, quite quite a bargain I'd say so I have loads of experience left there and quite a bit of money and that's the new tank M7 Priest which from my memory was quite a decent machine so with a upgrade with a full upgrade to its range it could uh, shoot over 50 percent in all of the maps i'm not sure if uh, they put any bigger maps this time so i believe the tank is level three so i'll just recruit a a new person without paying for to upgrade his experience level three is, is going to be really a quick quick move through through to get to level four I'll get rid of this tank because uh, I'm definitely not going to be playing more on this one brings some money back and frees up space in the garage as well it's not like we are short on the space however you don't really want to have loads and loads of tanks which you are not really going to play with as there's different campaigns to play with so you might want to try to research some um, German tanks, I believe there should be some Soviet tanks as well as uh, British tanks. So if you're a fan of kind of researching different different uh, trees within this tree of machinery, then you're more than welcome. I'll probably stay with one because I don't really think there is much difference between similar sort of level tanks uh, just between different nations obviously there is going to be some difference but nothing really major so i guess there is more more difference if you manage to progress your tank to higher levels which is my sort of goal to get um these tanks up to level seven plus hopefully and let's see 
one of the downsides you can spot straight away with this tank is the loading time so i guess one of the researches we can get later on will make it a bit quicker because currently it reloads i believe around 14 seconds which is just a nightmare to wait and between your shots it's just the longest wait in your life especially when you see the enemy there and you don't really want to shoot too early because uh, you're afraid to miss like I did just now and then you need to wait for another 15 seconds before you're ready to shoot and this time anyone can destroy the tank you're not really bringing anything to the table not really helping your team however when you get the successful shot one shot an enemy down which is the reason why I so so love the artillery thing this guy was destroyed without really any help of mine so I think I'll try to find any any victims in high ground because that might be a bit easier for me because there's gonna be less uh, of my colleagues trying to get a shot on them so he's somewhere here I might wait a bit till I see him aiming or shooting because as you've seen me before you can actually spot the enemy tank with when they're not visible on your map however you're seeing where the bullets coming from it seems to be a quite close battle so far and I think the enemy is being a bit more victorious over us they destroyed more tanks and they spotted us as well so it is quite a shame that we haven't really managed to do much in the battle and we've been spotted already being at more or less the base so the battle with the new tank wasn't a best example I guess of artillery however the battle before I'm quite proud of that really managed to do a lot of benefit to the whole team Thanks guys for tuning in, hope you enjoyed this uh, episode which was mainly dominated by um, artillery. Hope you liked the game, please leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, press like and I'll see you, th I'll see you soon guys. Cheers!